divine encounter. Our Sahori spoils three manifestations. In the tapestry of divine interventions, there are three remarkable moments when the Holy Spirit descended in a unique and powerful manner, revealing a sacred narrative of cosmic significance, the conception of Christ, divine fusion. The inaugural revelation accorded with the conception of Jesus Christ. In the sacred womb of Mary, the Holy Spirit orchestrated the union of divinity and humanity. As the angelic proclamation echoed in the celestial realms, Mary's virginity encountered the divine intervention. The Holy Spirit taken to the sacred cloud overshadowing the tabernacle in Exodus enveloped Mary with divine potency. This miraculous union path, the Holy Son of God, a testament to the divine agency in human history. The baptismal unveiling, commencement and ministry, the second revelation transpired at the pivotal moment of Jesus' baptism. The waters of the Jordan River witnessed to the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Christ, marking the initiation of his public ministry. John the Baptist, a herald in the wilderness, testified to the divine in the veil. The Spirit, aching to a dove, ascended and remained with Jesus and coiting him for the sacred mission that lay ahead. The symbolism of the dove resonates with purity and peace, heralding the commencement of the transformative journey, transfiguration, glory in the clouds. The third unveiling unfolded in the radiance of the transfiguration. As Jesus ascended the mountain of his disciples, the Holy Spirit once again manifested in a cloud of glory. The overshadowing cloud echoed the divine presence that filled the tabernacle in the time of Moses. In this celestial encounter, the voice proclaimed Jesus as the beloved Son. The cloud is a symbol of God's majestic glory, enshrouded the transformative moment, emphasizing the divine identity of Christ. The visual violence, the Holy Spirit played a pivotal role orchestrate divine interventions that shape the course of redemption. The sacred tapestry continues to unfold, inviting believers to explore the depths of these encounters and discover the transformative power embedded in each revelation. The divine baptism, unveiling the Holy Spirit's presence. The sacred chronicles of the gospel, a pivotal moment unfolds as Jesus approaches John of the Jordan River for baptism. This act seemingly paradoxical becomes a profound revelation of the Holy Spirit's divine intervention. The Dothau's descent of baptism a divine union. As Jesus emerged from the waters, the heaven followed, revealing the Spirit of God and descending like a god, and quitting the Messiah. This symbolic act, detailed in Matthew 3 verse 13 to 16, illuminates the divine union between Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Ron grappling with the humility of baptizing the Christ, witnesses the fulfillment of a divine plan. The dove a symbol of purity and peace, encapsulates the transformative baptism that transcends earthly waters. Prophetic fulfillment John's revelation. The narrative of Ecclesian revelation read to the John, foretelling that the Messiah would be distinguished by the Spirit's descent. In this moment, John perceives Jesus as the one who baptizes not with water, but, but with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, a distinct person within the Godhead, unfolds a divine plan that surpasses earthly rituals. Pentecost, the unveiling of Holy Spirit's power. Acts 1 verse 5 sets the stage for a profound shift the baptism with the Holy Spirit. The day of Pentecost marks the fulfillment of this promise. Acts 2 verse 4, the vital portrays believers filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in diverse tongues and manifestation of divine empowerment. Peter's exhortation in Acts 2 verse 38 emphasizes repentance, 
baptism and the reception of the Holy Spirit, heralding a new era in the believer's journey. The Body of Christ, the Temple for the Holy Spirit. Cloud verse 13 illuminates the transformative impact of the Holy Spirit. Every believer becomes a dwelling place for the Spirit, forging unity in the Body of Christ. The Holy Spirit's descent not only identifies Jesus as the promised Messiah, but inaugurates the communal indwelling, creating a spiritual bond among believers. In the sacred tapestry of divine baptisms, the Holy Spirit's descent marks a profound union between the divine and the human. As believers embrace this transformative baptism, they partake in the ongoing narrative of spiritual birth and divine empowerment. Pentecost, the culmination of divine infilling. Within the sacred tapestry of divine encounters, the day of Pentecost stands as the crescendo of the third and most profound coming of the Holy Spirit. In the aftermath of Jesus, the Holy Spirit descended uniquely upon all who embraced the gospel. The unveiling symphony of Pentecost. Acts 2 verse 1 to 12 paints a vivid tableau of the Pentecostal moment. Gathered in unity, believers experienced a divine symphony. In heaven, aching to a rushing, violent wind that engulfed the space they occupied. Tongues resembling fire descended and rested upon each believer, marking the celestial and clanking tune. The spirit diffused throughout, birthing a manifestation, speaking in diverse tongues, divinely endowed by the spirit. The multilingual marvel of Pentalos is unveiling the crowd that converged on this divine spectacle marveled as Galileans spoke in languages foreign to their origins. Parthians, Medes, Elamites and a myriad of others, how the mighty works of God proclaimed in their native tongues. The astonishment rippled through the gathering bewilderment where did the queen wait? What could this mean? Pentecost, the feast of unity. In the grand tapestry of Jewish feasts, Pentecost emerged as a key player. Deuteronomy 16 designates that among the three major feasts where males presented themselves before the Lord. Symbolically, the priest would wave twin oaths envisioning the time of Holy Spirit pouring when souls unite as one. Preparation fulfilled the divine gathering. The disciples, diverse in temperament and background, converged in harmonious accord with Jesus which only the Father. The stage was set for the divine fulfillment of Pontius Thomas. The apostles, aligned in purpose, awaited the Holy Spirit's empowering and essential precursor to their commission. Pentecostal unveiling, the heavenly surge. The Pentecost unfolded. The Holy Spirit surged upon the disciples, infusing them with heavenly power. While the Holy Spirit had been present since creation, this divine event marked a unique manifestation of power. His Spirit, now poured out, initiated a new epoch empowering believers to fulfill the charge entrusted to them by Jesus. In the divine drama of Pentecost, disput, thread together, a celestial sympathy, the multilingual marvel, and a feast of unity. The Holy Spirit's descent the Holy fulfilled prophecies, but inaugurated a transformative era in the life of the early believers. The unveiling power of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit, a divine force throughout biblical history, manifested in various ways. He illuminated the disciples' understanding, but at Pentecost, his arrival was marked by unprecedented power. Three remarkable miracles signaled the Spirit's advent. The audible symphony, a rushing wind. The first miracle. The sound resembling a rushing mighty wind. Echoed the words of Jesus to Nanadamus, John 3 verse 8. The spirit, love the wind, operates invisibly yet irresistibly. This movement transforms toppling walls of resistance in the church, leaving an indelible mark on its essence. The visible purification flames of fire. 
Simultaneously, the apostles witness spirit as flames of fire, a potent symbol of cleansing and purifying power. Drawing parallels to the burning bush in Exodus 3 verse 2, and the consuming fire in Hebrews 12 verse 29. The Holy Spirit's fire consumes and guarantees. Moreover, it temperates, imparting its burning essence to those it touches. The inexhaustible question, why Pentecost? Pentecost unfolded not merely as a historical event, but as an exerient reality for every believer at the moment of salvation on the Corinthians 12 verse 13. While the historical Pentecost remains a singular occurrence, the personal Pentecost rears in the life of each believer. Every Christian is privileged to be involved by the Holy Spirit, I, divine presence that unites and transforms. The dynamic part is doing something in and through us. <laughs> Pentecost transpired because God desired to work within believers. The Holy Spirit's presence a continuous reality in every Christian signifies a personal Pentecost. The divine purpose extends beyond personal transformation that encompasses a collective mission. The Mon, being filled by the Spirit, believers to speak for the Spirit, communicating the profound works of God, in the face of challenges, the disciples filled with the Holy Spirit addressed a diverse crowd, bridging linguistic and cultural gaps. The Spirit's enabling presence demonstrated that trusting God provides the means to meet diverse crowds. Furthermore, God's desire is to brook the Levies utilizing them as vessels for His Spirit. The authority of the Messiah is exercised through the Holy Spirit as a fairy by Peter in Acts. A resurrected Jesus bestowed the Holy Spirit, empowering believers to fulfill their divine calling. In the ongoing narrative of Pentecost, the audible symphony and visible purification converge to unveil the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. The inexhaustible question of why Pentecost finds its dynamic purpose in the continuous work of the Spirit within and through it. the Church and Blessing. In the sacred tapestry of divine revelation, the Holy Spirit emerges as a central figure. The biblical narrative on the Apostle Gietos paints a vivid picture of the Spirit's profound significance. The Echoes of Pentecost are his son witness. Acts 2 verse 33 resonates with the echoes of Pentecost, encapsulating the glorious culmination of Christ's exaltation. Positioned at the right hand of God, Christ fulfilled the promise of the Holy Spirit. The outpouring witnessed by both sight and sound was not a mere spectacle, but a manifestation of the divine pledge. The apostles and raptured witnesses beheld and held the tangible evidence of this promised blessing, the Corinthian benediction, Trin and Grace. Paul, in his epistle to the Borontians, bestows a unique benediction that encapsulates the trying nature of God. In a graceful orchestration, he enters the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Is triaded. Blessing echoes the divine unity, a harmonious dance of grace, love, and fellowship. It is a sacred invocation, inviting the people of God into the richness of this Trinitarian embrace. In the tapestry of faith, the Holy Spirit waves a narrative of divine prunes and trintings of blessings. As witnesses of the outpouring, believers are invited into the fellowship of the Spirit, a secret communion that transcends earthly comprehension. 